Good morning, Jay Sarah. I'm Aiden Alley. And I'm Terrence O'Hagan. And, and this, this is, is The, the Lion Report. Report. Juniors, don't forget to order your class rings. Jostens will be here on today, October 2nd during lunch. This will be the last day to order your ring and it will guarantee that you will have it before the Junior Ring Mass on November 19th. Next week is Awareness Week. Educate yourself on issues that affect yourself, your friends, family, and community. On Monday, take a stance against substance abuse and sign the pledge at lunch. Wear red to school, all dress code rules apply. All shorts and skirts must follow J. Sarah uniform regulations. No revealing or low cut apparel. No tank, to tank tops must be one inch or thicker. No tight clothing, no sheer clothing, no high heels or sandals, no rip clothing, no bare midriffs. Today, our college visits uh, Boston University at 8 a.m., Franklin, uh, Franklin College, Switzerland, 10 a.m., and St. Mary's College, California, 11.45 a.m. This Friday, it's going to be St. Lawrence University uh, at 10 a.m., Marquette University, 1 p.m., and this Sunday, it's going to be University of Colorado Boulder, 1.30 p.m., and then it's at the Hilton Hotel in Irvine. Next week on Monday, we got Penn State University at 8.50 a.m. So, Terry, have you seen the pep squad lately? Yeah, I've seen, uh, they kind of look kind of masculine, don't they, dude? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, let's go check them out. For sure. On Tuesday, become aware and break the silence of domestic violence. Bring in your old cell phone, like flip phones and such, to donate to domestic violence shelters so that residents can make emergency phone calls in case they come face to face with their abuser. Take a stand, be aware, and wear purple and sign the pledge uh, at lunch. Dress codes still apply. And on Wednesday, we will be hosting a canned food drive to highlight the hunger that faces America's children. After Mass, wear orange to take a stance and make aware the number of children that go to bed hungry every night. Cans will be collected during first period. Dress code still applies. So, um, have you heard of this new movie that has been going around? I actually have. I heard it's about dialogue, dude. Dialogue, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let's go check it out. Why'd you do it then? Who said I did it? Everyone. The council. All the elements point to you. I don't see any evidence. There's plenty of evidence. I need to see something on paper first. Otherwise, there's no justice to that. Fine. I'll get you your paper. But just so you know, I'm not the one who serves justice. Potato pickles. I don't know. Where are they? Chris Pratt. It was all Chris Pratt. The Guardian of the Galaxy? Yeah. If I find out you're lying to me, I'll be back.
Calling all sophomore leaders, you are invited to apply to the Hobie State Leadership Seminar. <laughs> the Hobie State Leadership Seminar is Thank designed you. to help high, uh, high school sophomores recognize their leadership talents and apply them to be more effective ethical leaders in their home, school, workplace, and community. JCR will elect one sophomore to participate in this pr uh, prestigious event. This year's seminar will take place in June at Chapman University. Participants of the seminar can get guaranteed scholarships from schools like Texas University and Florida State University. They can also participate in future programs such as Global Student Leaders Summit and World Leadership Congress. You can find out more information at www.hobie.org. Girls Soccer Trouts, update. Girls Soccer Trouts will begin a month long trouts beginning on Monday, October 6th and Thursday, October 9th, immediately after school on field number two and conclude around 4.15 p.m. Come dress in soccer attire, cleats, shin guards, and ring water. The Lady Lions improved their overall record yesterday to 13 wins, three losses with a 13 to five win over St. Margaret's. J.D., Akudir, Zoe, and Mary swept nine single sets as Topher Stevens and Samantha Ramirez won the decided double set. Go Lions! Cross Country dominates in Trinity League opener. Update in Cross Country news. The JSR Running Lions opened their Trinity League win, or Trinity League scheduled with resounding victories yesterday. Andrew Burkhardt set a school record on the league course and winning the overall boys varsity race. The boys squad defeated Modern Day, Santa Margarita, Servite, on the girls' side, Ashley Geisler led a clean sweep of their league revival, rivals, defeating Modern Day, Santa Margarita, Rosary, and Orange Lutheran. The boys and the girls are currently ranked number three in the state. Next up for the Running Lions, the Clovis Invitational in Fresno. Go Running Lions! Now we're pitching to Jacob Berline in volleyball. Don't forget, today there will be a debate and speech club in Mr. Mishu's classroom. Also, there's going to be a Students Against Trafficking Club this Friday during second lunch in Mrs. Meyer, Meyer's room, so don't forget about that. This, is a, this has been Aiden Alley. And I'm Terrence O'Hagan. <laughs> and this has been The Lion Report. <laughs>